First and foremost, we must understand two important vocabulary words associated with blood types. The first word is antigen. Antigens are proteins that rest on the surface of our red blood cells and they are what determine our blood type. So I'm going to represent antigens with these flags because antigens are basically what the blood is representing. So if we have a blood cell and it has an antigen with an A on it, then this is type A blood. If we have a red blood cell with, an, with a B antigen on it, then this is referred to as blood type B. If we have both A and B antigen, then this is blood type AB. If we have no antigens on our blood cell, like zero antigens, then this is referred to as blood type O. The next vocabulary word is antibody. Antibody basically is part of the immune system and it attacks anything harmful or incompatible with our blood. So our, our antigens will tell the antibodies what is not compatible with our blood. For example, if we have blood type A, the antigen is A and this antigen will tell the antibody to fight off any B antigens. If we have a B antigen represented here with a flag with a B on it, that means this red blood cell is compatible with B. So it won't fight off anything else with B, but it will fight off anything with an A. So the antigen will tell the antibody, hey, if any A's come around, you must fight them off. If any B's come around, they're perfectly okay. So here, B is our antigen and A is our antibody. In blood type AB, this blood is representing both A and B. So it doesn't need to fight anyone. It's cool with everyone. So it will have no defense. It will have no army. Or in other words, it will have no antibodies. In blood type O, this blood has no flags. It represents no one, which means it fights everyone. So here, blood type O has no antigens, but it does have an army of antibodies to fight against everyone meaning fighting against both a and b so if a comes around or b comes around blood type o is going to fight against it okay so now we understand how antigens and antibodies work together let's look at compatibilities in receiving blood starting off with blood type a who can blood type A receive blood from? This will be determined by who it fights off. What are blood type A's antibodies? Type B, right? So blood A type will have antibodies that are against B, anti-B antibodies. So let's just say another blood cell comes along and it's also a type A. Will it be received or rejected by blood type A? Received, right? Because A will not fight off A. So what if blood type B comes along? Will blood type A receive it? No, it will reject it because blood type A is surrounded by B antibodies. And when those antibodies see that B flag, they will attack it. What if blood type AB comes along? It will also be rejected because although it has an A flag, it also has a B flag and those B antigens will be attacked. So what about if blood type O comes around? Will it be received or will it be rejected? Well, it has no flags on it, so it will not be a threat to blood type A. The antibodies in blood type A will not have anything that triggers an attack, so blood type O will be accepted. Here we have blood type B with B antigens and A antibodies floating around it to protect it. If blood type A comes around, will it be accepted or rejected? It will be rejected and attacked by the A antibodies. If blood type B comes around, will it be accepted or rejected? Accepted. If blood type AB comes around, will it be accepted or rejected? rejected because the antibodies will see those A flags as a threat and fight the blood type AB. If O comes around, will it be accepted or rejected? Accepted. It is seen as no threat because it has no flags. Now let's look at blood type AB. 
Because AB represents both A and B, it has no army to fight against them. So if blood type A comes around it, it will accept it. If blood type B comes around it, it will accept it. If blood type AB comes around it, it will accept it. And if blood type O comes around it, it will accept it. AB no is known as the universal receiver and will accept all blood types. Okay, lastly, we have blood type O. Blood type O has both A and B antibodies. So anything flagged with an A or a B will be rejected and blood type O will basically fight it. So if an A comes along, it will be rejected. If a B comes along, it will be rejected. If an A, B comes along, it will be rejected. But if an O comes along, it will be accepted. Blood type O will only receive from blood type O. I want to emphasize that giving and receiving blood are not the same. So for example, blood type A can give to AB, but it cannot receive from AB. So we just looked over all the compatibilities with blood receiving. Now let's look at blood giving. So here we're working with blood type A. Which blood type can A give to? Basically, A will give to those who also represent A and have an A antigen or flag in this case. So can it give to an A? Yes, it can. Can it give to a B? No, it can't. Can it give to an AB? Yes, it can. Can it give to an O? No, it can't. So blood type A can only give to A and AB. Here we're working with blood type B. Blood type B will only be able to give blood to others with the B antigen, or in this case, the B flag. So can it give to A? No, it can. Can it give to B? Yes, it can. Can it give to AB? Yes, it can. Can it give to O? No, it can. So blood type B can only give to B and AB. Now we're working with blood type AB. AB will be able to give to any blood type representing AB. And that's AB together, not A or B. So will it be able to give to A? No, it won't. Will it be able to give to B? No, it won't. Will it be able to give to AB? Yes, it will. Will it be able to give to O? No, it won't. So blood type AB can only give to blood type AB. Lastly, we're working with blood type O. O can give to everyone. So O can give to A, O can give to B, O can give to AB, and O can give to O. It can give to everyone because it represents no one. It has no flags or antigens that will trigger other blood types to see it as a threat. Blood type O is known as the universal donor. Okay, so that wraps up the compatibilities of giving blood. Lastly, I'd just like to explain the RH factor, which is also known as the rhesus factor. This is a protein that is found on the surface of red blood cells. Blood either has the RH factor or it doesn't have the RH factor. If it does have the RH factor, then this blood is known as positive. If the blood does not have the RH factor, then this is known as negative. A positive RH factor can give to another positive and it can receive from a negative or a positive. Now a negative RH factor can give to a negative or a positive, but it can only receive from another negative. I've made this quick chart as a quick review or guide. If you want, you can screenshot it and use it for your studies. So at the top, I have the blood types, A, B, A, B, and O. And then to the left, I have if they're an their antigens, their antibodies, what they're able to give and what they're able to receive. So looking at the top, starting with the antigens. Blood type A will have A antigens, blood type B will have B antigens, blood type AB will have AB antigens, and blood type O will have no antigens at all. That means that blood type A will have B antibodies, Blood type B will have A antibodies. Blood type AB will have no antibodies at all. Blood type O will have both A and B antibodies, which means that blood type A will be able to give to A and AB. Blood type B will be able to give to B and AB. And blood type AB will be only be able to give to AB. Blood type O will be able to give to everyone. It is a universal donor. 
And this leaves receiving. Blood type A can receive blood from A and O. Blood type B can receive from B and O. Blood type AB can receive blood from everyone. It is a universal receiver. And lastly, blood type O can only receive from O. And this concludes this video. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching. I hope you learned something new. Until next time, guys.